Hello and welcome to the BITV show. We're at MIPIM 2023 and I'm co-hosting with Paul Norman. Hi, yeah, Paul Norman here, uh, managing editor of CoStar Europe. We have the pleasure to receive Valérie Pécresse, who is the president of Ile de France region. Uh, we'll be talking in English. And I would like to ask you the first question. Could you make um, an overview of uh, the transition and resilience subject in the Ile de France region? What are the, the key initiatives that the region has taken for transition and resilience? We, we have a, a huge plan to make the revolution of transports. And it's called Grand Paris Express. Grand Paris Express, it's 300 kilometers of new metro lines. And it's going to double the number of metro. And, um, and also we'll have 70 new stations that will open. And while doing this, we are also decarbonizing all the transports. Uh, buying all new buses, trams that are all electric or um, uh, fueled by gas, but natural gas and not, not by petrol or diesel. So we, we are very much into decreasing the pollution of the air, but also renaturing the cities. Mm -hmm. And it's a huge plan that we are funding. And we hope to preserve 120,000 hectares of natural lands. And we hope also to replant 100 parks in the cities. What is the budget? Um, well, actually, the region is spending half of its budget into environmentally uh, beneficial uh, um, decision. Okay. decisions for example um, renaturing for example decarbonizing transportation but okay. for example also uh, buying uh, um, producing new energy recycling circular energy so it, it's two billion a year you, you've been talking about transportation it's a really important mean for real estate we know that and the region Ile-de-France region has been known to have a very good network already an existing network that has been modernized, but it means a lot of work, and work usually paralyzes the, the, the traffic. So how to modernize without paralyze? <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> no, my vision of the city, of the, the region, is, is a vision where uh, people can telework, can not commute. So it means having new um, new poles of development everywhere and it, it will be uh, thanks to this new transport network that will do a loop a, a double double loop uh, around Paris uh, before our transports were you know like radial transports they, they were all coming to Paris and in now the center, they're in the center of Paris in yes. the center and now they're turning around okay. and and what what is going to to happen with this uh, this works is uh, it's going to to end up progressively so we s we opened the first new lines in 2024 saint denis orly and a third metro line to la défense and we are also and and it's going to go on in 25 26 27 27 will be one of the last lines going uh, direct from paris to roissy airport charles de gaulle okay. airport and the, the last line will be the one that will uh, uh, go to Saclay, Saclay Cluster yes. Campus. Uh, the Saclay Cluster Campus, it's 25% of the whole French research. And it's all in AI, quantum, energy, systems, defense, space. So it's all going to be in the south of Paris. Okay. Paul, your turn, sorry. Well, obviously a huge story there for our international investors around that, how much you're investing in transport. I, and I think they will all know Central Paris and La Défense and all the reasons for investing there. What's, what's coming forward in, because of this investment in Greater Paris, in Ile-de-France, that people should really be targeting in the international investment Yes, uh, it's, it, what is going to change in the future years is that Paris is 
Paris. It will always be Paris, it will always be very attractive, but Paris is not building anymore. So where is the Paris of tomorrow being built? It's in the suburbs. Because of these double loops, yeah. and also because of the Olympic Games. Because we are hosting the Olympics yeah. and Paralympic Games uh, in 2024, and we are building huge infrastructures of sport infrastructures, but also uh, venues and, and neighborhoods next to these infrastructures, especially in Saint-Saint-Denis, in the poorest um, department of the region, which is like the north of London. It's mm. a little bit similar, but also in the west, and in in um, in the southwest, where we'll host um, all the the, the cycling uh, and uh, yeah, all the cycling, the golf, and and um, also horse riding. So and well, there's two questions there. Is there things that happened in London in 2012 that you look at and say, well, or other cities where Barcelona, we can learn from that, what how that worked, and separately, this is the Olympics. Sorry. Um, and separately, what sectors in particular should people be looking at growing? Is it offices? It, obviously residential, but offices, retail, logistics, is this, which, which areas are you targeting? Well, some political parties think that uh, to save the planet, we have not to build anymore. Uh, I, I do not belong to these uh, parties. I think, I think there is a sh social emergency on uh, bu building housing in, in Ile-de-France and that we still have to continue build, to build but differently, differently, build the city on the city so rebuild all these red belts that was the former um, manufacturer, ma man, um, industrial yeah. belt uh, around Paris. Uh, these, these cities that were very poor now are completely gentrifying, completely changing and we're trying to build them with a mix a mix of housing and a mix of offices and also a third, third spaces where you can work and learn and mingle. Uh, so we are, we are really putting uh, the, the emphasis in these cities all around Paris and that's where um, investors should, uh, should have a look because uh, they are changing whether um, be it in housing or in, uh, in new offices, new building. Okay, John Baptiste. Well, Valérie Pérez, thanks a lot for uh, that interview. And please keep on watching for BITV.